and disappear. And I think we are recording. So welcome to the monthly October call for Cloud Native Nordics. Uh, I'm also going to share my screen. Hey. Hey, Casper. I finally managed to get this thing working. <laughs> there, was, there was no sound without my headphones and uh, I don't know. Wrong user I and... <laughs> <laughs> I had this issue like another day where it just, my headphones just refused to connect. So I was in like hangouts and I could see people talking and they could apparently hear me, but I heard nothing from my headphones. Uh, it was super annoying. Oh, well, uh, I don't know how much we have to discuss today. I guess it is mainly the, uh, the hosting of the Cloud Native Nordics uh, that will be on topic today. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Uh, I was hoping Lucas would be here because I think he's the one paying for everything right now. So we could just agree that we continue to do that. <laughs> <laughs> As he's not here, and yeah, but uh, but yeah, uh, I think there's a couple of issues with the hosting right now. Uh, the first one being uh, that we generate all the stuff from Meetup, and we are currently migrating away from Meetup, so all that details is no longer valid, or at least we need to integrate with the new platform if we want to do that, um, which takes a lot of time, I guess, and I don't think anybody has time to actually to sit down and write this new generation thing. Um, so we Can should probably- The boring yeah. person and just ask, is it since we're moving to a new platform, is the, uh, the exports from Meetup still a valid thing to do? Uh, I, I would say they are not. Uh, I would really, really like to simplify this a lot. Um, just, just having, we could easily start out with just having a Slack invitation or something like that, the invite function yeah. and, and that keep it at that as a, a Slack Maybe like a Slack invitation function and as the meetups start migrating, just adding up like a link to all the, uh, the meetup groups in the uh, CNCF community. Yeah, exactly. And then just host it on GitHub or something because it's- Yeah, static page. Yeah, exactly. Um, but but, but couldn't it be yeah. easier to just, you know, pick a static site generator and then do that instead? It seems way easier than sort of writing our own static site generator that can read uh, whatever. I think, I think we have a, the, the old um, website is, is probably, I, I can't remember how it's written. It, it was just a fork project that we added a logo to or something like that. Oh, yes, and it's, it's, it, it's best invite. Yeah. Yes, exactly. And it's basically just a, I think, it, yeah, it's, it, I think we ran it on Heroku or something because we needed the server side something, I don't know, to, for, for some tokens or something. I'm, I can't remember, but uh, so maybe static site generation is maybe not a good idea. So we need a backend somehow to do some stuff because we cannot put the Slack token in, mm. in the front end. Of course. Um, but anyway, we could just use, use Heroku again. I think it was fairly cheap, like $5 or something. It, it, it doesn't really matter that much. I also think we have, as an ambassador, we can get some AWS credits somehow. Yeah, uh, but it's basically not AWS credits based on uh, you as ambassadors. It's just, uh, as far as I could see from the video last time and from the uh, notes, agenda last time. Uh, it's their open source program that they are willing to maybe open up to ambassadors as well. Oh, okay. But it seems like it's patent patent pending or whatever, right? They haven't Probably. decided. Yeah. But uh, I yeah. think whatever is the easiest right now and if we could get just, you know, uh, reimburse the, what would it be? Uh, hundred dollars a year or something from from cncf then then that's probably also fine it, it's it doesn't really matter that much it, the only thing that matters is it should be as easy as possible uh, and as easy to maintain as possible i think and so I, too and, that's that's why i think maybe uh scaling away the part that exports from meetup is a good thing and decide on what do we need to keep uh do you have an idea of how much infrastructure be running to support a page? Because I do know there was some like build pipeline and uh, things in place as well. 
Um, I think that was a huge setup, right? Yeah, right now it is. Running some it's, Kubernetes it's a... Prometheus thingy as well. Yes, exactly. Yes. <laughs> Uh, so we will, I, I think we will just tear down our DigitalOcean uh, account and just go with Heroku or whatever. We can yeah. deploy that thing too with one click. And as far as I remember, Heroku also just had some support for um, yeah, connecting the, the Git repo and, and automatically the build and stuff like that. So it, it should be fairly easy, as I see it, to just take whatever we had before, uh, make some changes in terms of the putting the logo in there and, and maybe linking to the to the groups in, in the baby platform and then that's it. So, I mean, um, let's do that. Should we, uh, uh, we could schedule like a pair programming session that will be similar to this. So we can take the next month uh, community call and do it together or something. Uh, how do you think is the best way to proceed? Yeah, that's a good question. It's, it's all about time, right? <laughs> <laughs> Um, because I, I really feel you with the, uh, it has to be simple because I'm like currently on constant bad conscious about not having hosted a meetup in a while, but at the same, same. time, I just, it's not going to happen right now anyway, because there's many other things going on. Uh, so yeah. we need to prioritize our, our own time here to spend the least effort. I would rather spend effort where it will make the most difference. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I think I totally it's really agree. important. Yeah. I think uh, I, I just, just think checking. There are some... Yeah, go Sorry. ahead, Rasmus. No, okay. Go ahead. Uh, so I think there are some good things about the current website uh, we have, uh, where you can see all the companies that have been invested, uh, all the speakers that have been here, uh, and the groups. Uh, and I think when we are going back to normal at some point. 21, 22, whatever, and we want to do the conference thing. I actually think that's pretty good to show uh, sort of the traction we have and what we have done and who we have uh, worked with and stuff like that. Yeah, I agree. But, um, but we could, but it... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But I mean, it doesn't mean that we have to throw away the code either. No. Let's just keep everything and, and then maybe just for now, go, go ahead and, and uh, move the, yeah, the old project back in and make some small corrections to it. Just as a bare minimum, we need the Slack invite. That's, that's the most important thing because without that, we cannot get people into the Slack. Yeah. Um, and then we could iterate from there, whether it's going to be, if somebody has time to actually pick this up again, uh, and import that and, and create that for the new platform, or whether it's gonna be putting a file in a repo and just visualizing that file or whatever uh, in, in, the, in the old one, that could also be doable. It really depends on, on yeah, who has time to... The hardest thing is the Slack and web, uh, because everything else is pretty easy to host statically right out of GitHub pages or something like that. Yeah, exactly. Um, where is the, yep. oh, John or Slack community, right? Yeah. yeah so that's, exactly. the, that's sort of the part that needs a backend. But could that, um, I guess it's just a form fill that could call, we could still have the static web page and that could just call some other endpoint, very small, like a Lambda or anything that's running yes. somewhere. So uh, let's, again, yeah. <laughs> we, we need to set it up and uh, maintain okay. it. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah, engineering but, solution. I totally mode. agree with you. I totally uh, agree so that. It should be simple. Yeah. It feels like. Yeah. Uh, so so it feels like uh, there are two options. issues here, right? The one, one issue is that the code generator, which uh, the web page uses, will go out of date soon ish. Yeah. And we need uh, to either do it ourselves or get some help uh, from the outside. Uh, it's Hacktoberfest time, so maybe some people would like to help. That's a solution. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. We could uh, actually. That's a good idea. We could uh, we could schedule uh, a meetup that is like join hacking on the Cloud Native Nordics webpage. Oh, that. Oh. 
That's a very good idea. I like it. Uh... <laughs> but everybody is, is sort of hating doing front end, right? Isn't that why yeah. we're doing <laughs> infrastructure? That's, a, that's why we're doing infrastructure. <laughs> yeah, I know. So it, it might not actually attract people. But on the other hand, the people that show up will be the people that wouldn't mind touching front end. Uh, so yeah. it might be a small crew, but it might also be more effective for what we want to do. Uh, yeah. So be, I mean, we could organize that as a Nordics event and like invite anyone or set a cap of 20 people, whatever we feel is like reasonable. Uh, and we can figure out if there is like a couple of subgroups that we are that we need. Uh, don't we don't we need to have sort of the sort of the base in place, so the the old setup in place, if if that's what people are going to hang on. So just just go back to the old solution, mm. and have that out there, and and then we want people to to make that cool, or is it take the other one that we have running and. I think it it could be I mean it could be everything even setting up the the infrastructure behind running the old one again. So the reason why I said yes to this was because stress people don't have time. But if we are organizing a meetup, maybe we can put aside two three hours that in one evening, uh, do it as a meetup and spend the time uh, we as organizers as well on on doing this. And if we get someone else that is interested as well, I mean it might be us free showing up and doing it, and then yeah. <laughs> that's that's good as well and we have an event for it or people feel like oh it was a long time i did anything with plan a to nordic so it would be fun to hack a little bit yeah but i yeah. don't we need to sort of decide on uh, what to do because um, the old side is fairly complicated both for um, organizers to use and to hack on okay yeah but right now it's also fairly expensive to run the old site because now we don't have the credits anymore so i think it's around 40 dollars a month or something like that we pay right now Not that, that uh, is... that's the uh, digital ocean one right yeah yeah exactly yeah but i think that's uh, two different issues right that sort of correlate but they are different so the hosting part we could fix that i could ask so it, it seems like aws is doing that open sourcing I can ask the account manager I know uh, if we are uh, open source enough to be part of that program and then free money, free do the AWS. I could also ask uh, Alejandro uh, or Christian from Google uh, if they want to sponsor this uh, as a company. They have been uh, at the meetups before, right? Yeah. They know what we're doing, stuff like that. So maybe, I don't know, uh, but it's fairly easy for me to ask because I talk with them all the time either. Huh? Uh, but I think it's do. free to ask about the credits, but at the same time, I want to highlight that the more credits we have, the more complicated setup we will build and then we will lose the idea of it will be easy to maintain. So it might even be a good idea to not have any credits while we do this hack mm. and decide on a cheap solution that we think is going to be work even if we, because the reason why this is no longer working is because our contact on DigitalOcean had moved on, right? Yeah. Uh, so then maybe uh, that's, that is, will always be a risk. So the question is, will we have to redo this in a year when our contacts move on or uh, will we have something that we can sustain? And I know we have a budget as CNCF ambassadors and I wouldn't mind using mine towards uh, hosting a sheep web page if that's what is needed. Uh, but we need to figure that out, I think. Yeah, that's yeah. a good point. I'm, I'm just thinking uh, as bare minimum as possible. So we need something that can run a backend. I don't know if you know App Engine from Google Cloud, but it's fairly easy to host static sites on and you can make it such that a uh, given URL, for example, slash slack goes to a backend application, like a Go, small Go file. Uh, that's run when we need to do the invite thing so we don't have the choking in the front end and then jobs done we don't need any more maybe some monitoring yeah. that says if the site is down for more than five minutes then we yeah. would like to know right and we, and we, we, we have and we also have the code for, for for doing it because the what was it called the stats api or something like that is already mm -hmm. doing it so it, it would just be extracting that and 
build a small binary and put a path in front of it and then you have exactly so think that i mean a static page we already know that we can host via github pages and since the user will be the cloud native nordics user i think that that should be fairly simple to just set up uh, yeah. and host and be happy with it. And i like i've been trying all this call to remember what they call that uh that uh, framework that he used, but it's something like GitHub, uh, in, not Jenkins, not Garrett, not something Jekyll. like that. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah, it's fairly common to uh, use in GitHub pages. You can also use uh, Hugo if you like Go templating more. There's a lot of options. I don't care, yeah. really. Just so pick whatever it's, that most people can do. Exactly. So it will be like we don't even have to understand html and CSS, uh, css so i think we should be able to manage that to get something static up that will uh solve the use case and, and like just point towards a backend uh, for the uh, for the slack invitation and that can be as you said like a small app engine running somewhere it shouldn't cost us much much i mean what can it be 50 requests per month something yeah it shouldn't be that expensive at all it should be fair and it should be fairly easy to do so and and it's also probably the most extendable solution in in terms of just applying the slack invite automation repo because that's sort of a a package node thing um that's probably not what we want if we want to scale this a bit again and and build stuff to it so uh, just thinking that in from the beginning would probably also be a good idea so yeah having a st static site um hosted by github and then a small function somewhere would be uh, be a good start yeah and i think we should keep the repositories we have it right now with uh, because we can spin up the current page locally right in case we have to demo for for the conference next year and we need to yeah. demo like what does it look like and such but i think that when we did when i watched the the review of the cncf community page it looked like these things were covered there. You could get like the, uh, the sponsors from the group and you could get like speakers and stuff. It felt like a lot of these things were, were built in into the tool already. So moving forward, of course, it would be hard to import the old ones, but moving forward, we would be able to get it, I think. Okay, so uh, actually looking at our GitHub, we have a, a three sites, basically. Two old and one new. And one of the old ones is a GitHub IO pages. Perfect. Let's just launch it that just again. Just runs Markdown. That's it. But it is there. Which is that? That's that's the one Lucas did for. Yeah, it's something Lucas did for, for visualizing. I think that was the first visualization of that meetup thing, right? <laughs> Maybe. It, I uh, uh, I don't know. What what, yeah, what but I guess was called? Ah, that's the yeah. yeah. You know, if we need to sort of uh, fix the uh, styling and such, uh, we have both Yeba and I that can do a little CSS. I guess he would help again if we ask him politely. Can't we just copy paste template somewhere and change the color scheme to match what we have right now? Yes. So what I would do uh, was basically take a very known framework like Bootstrap or something and then shove it in there and change the colors and then we're done. Ah. Yeah, so I actually coded a page the other day. <laughs> uh, I, it was my first web page in like so many years. Uh, <laughs> and I, I was like, I know I can use copy page, uh, paste a template from internet, but I don't remember like how do I find them. So I found like HTML5 up, which is like a gathering of different templates. And you can use copy page state, uh, edit the index field to have the information rather than lowering Ipsum. Uh, change some images and then just put an engine next in front and you're done <laughs> and it's <laughs> and i was like i was very happy with that so I, i'm like i have a hard time imagining we won't be able to find something that is easy enough and just change this color scheme to match what we already have add some of our icons and then it will work yeah, yeah. it's basically i think what we want is basically just a simplified version of the front page we have right now uh, just removing yeah. so so all the information and the image is is nice the the only thing we don't want is, is and cannot integrate with this is basically the numbers we could but uh, it doesn't really matter so yeah, just removing we just yeah we don't even have to remove them right we can just say that we are currently searching groups we are over 7000 members we have had over 100 meetups 
and yeah, we have over plus. <laughs> 50. Exactly, right? And then yeah, I mean, done. yes, static, and then we add to uh, October communicable every year that we should update these numbers. Uh, exactly. And... Yeah. That's beautiful. <laughs> That's engineering, so have... high quality engineering, I feel it. <laughs> so, yeah, so, so just re remove the menu in top, plus put in some pluses, yeah. and then just deploy it somewhere else. That's what you're going to do. Yeah. And yeah, then if, think... we, if we want yeah. to sort of, or some people want to help, we could um, migrate the speakers and the sponsors sections uh, over to statically done, and then people can pull request if they want to be a part of the speakers or sponsors, or we can do it as organizers when we conduct a meetup. Basically, I'm just thinking a file that defines, uh, uh, what is it called, a cell, uh, and grid. In the, for example, yeah, in the grid, just specify a cell right with a name and mm. a, a picture. That's in the repo. Well, job's done. Yeah, right now, it, I think we, we are still generating the YAML file in in the Meetup repo, so it could just be copying that, and then everything should work. And if you want to be added, then just update that one, probably right. Exactly, oh. and throw in an image, and then job's done. So then we could keep speakers and sponsors around. Yes. Um, the only thing and then not getting the events in is will the die. Ends. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, then we have events, and uh, that could just be uh, like a link to the baby pages uh, on the yeah. uh, CNCF. Uh, sure, but I was actually thing. thinking, what if the meetup groups thing was uh, just links to the baby thing, so you can. Find the one yeah. you are interested yes. in, like heavy Kubernetes meetup, right? Then go in isn't there. Isn't that what I baby. already? Wasn't that exactly what I said two seconds ago? Yeah, but you said it like in under events. I was just ah, thinking, you meant like, like the meetup. Uh, uh, yeah, of course. And then let events die. And events die. Yeah. Yeah. So, so just the same thing. Keep you said. keep, keep <laughs> three YAML <laughs> files around, right? Three YAML files yeah. around. One for a group, one for speakers, and one for sponsors, and then. Just put everything in one repo for the front end and one all the other stuff in for around Slack as a back end thing um, in another project that we deploy as a function somewhere. But I think that, uh, I mean, the first step is obviously just uh, pulling the front page and have it hosted somewhere else and kill the infrastructure of the old one. Yeah. Uh, that should be like the goal of if we do something. And then, of course, other things are also good to do, but um, like nice to have. Uh, so if we're going to set up a coding session, that's what I would prioritize. Like get the front end, um, so run somewhere else, host it somewhere else, kill off the infrastructure so it no longer costs money. Yeah. Should we try <laughs> the, the, to... The, yeah, Sorry. it would be nice to yeah to create a hack, hack thing. And it, there could be somebody working on, on doing that for the, fr for the front end, and there could be some someone working on extracting the stuff from stats API and, and putting it up on a function and exposing that on a, an endpoint somewhere. Exactly. So do you want to try to find a date? Because I feel like I need uh, you there, Casper, because you have access to the things. Uh, kind of unnecessary. Um, and it would be nice if you were there as well, Rasmus. So should we try to find a date where all three of us can attend, like an evening yeah. uh, and, or an afternoon, or whatever is the best? And then evening, we create evening. an event. Evening, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's Otherwise, fine. Kids, kids would be noisy. Yeah. And what, what does evening mean to you then? When do the kids go less uh, noisy? I think eight o'clock or something like that would be, but then it's going to be <laughs> yeah. an all-nighter or something like that. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not uh, functional, but I can, uh, after 10, but I can drop off early if that would be the case. Yeah, me neither. Me neither. <laughs> Uh, but then let's schedule two hours, like an evening between eight and ten, uh, and we we will see what happens. Do you have a date that you know already that in the next two weeks maybe that would be a good date? For you? So next week will be holiday for me or vacation for me. So the week after that will be week forty-three, right? Um, um, yes. I'm open all nights actually. So uh, what about you guys? Um, it's empty for me, empty. I think. All right. Asmus. To his headphones. Okay. Died. <laughs> Music. Hey. <laughs> Are you back? Maybe, maybe not. 
Now you're there. My hip, really we can hear you. Can you hear yes, us? That's good. Okay. Yes. Then we're okay. Party free. Now we will be DNA or something. Uh, so week 43, uh, the, uh, that is the week of Mon uh, Monday starts with October 19. Uh, do you yes. have an evening there where it would be more suitable for you to hack? All days can fit, so. Okay. okay. No one has a restriction. <laughs> except, uh, except for? Friday. Friday, Friday. is no good. Yeah, okay. Friday is not good for me either. I would say Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. Should we just... Tuesday. Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Good. Taken. Awesome. Uh, okay. Uh, I can create an event for this. Uh, it will be my first bevy event. I'm looking forward to that. Um, and oh, yeah. uh, I can uh, link it to you when once it, it's ready. I will, I will create it in Kubernetes then. Uh, Kubernetes at the body. Say it's a hacking of the cloudnativenordics.com and uh, I set the attendee limit of like 10, 15 or something. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that should be fine. Cool. Or so, do you want to do it just ourselves? Or do you want to do it meetup style? It would be fun to just have it, have, have it open to, for people to join and we can just get ideas and hopefully somebody has some experience with these tools. I, I'm not familiar with the, yeah, I usually Lambda a little bit, but that's all. Um, so if, if somebody has experience, it would be really nice to, uh, to get that so we don't sit around and yeah, bang our heads against the wall. Yeah, cool. Uh, then I will, uh, I will create. Uh, awesome. So we should join the Udivar group and figure yeah. out how to, how it would be nice to have this Cloud Native Nordics chapter. Yeah, I feel that as well. I'm, I'm just starting to feel like maybe I should just add it to the Cloud Native Nordics community calendar and ping about it in the events instead and we just skip the full bevy part. Yeah, I think maybe for now that would be a better solution and just use the Zoom for that. Um, yeah. And, and we should probably talk to Iho about Getting a sub was it a subgroup of or something? You created the uh, the issue last time. After yeah, the last, I, I can uh, uh, I can ping him and ask uh, about the progress on that. Because I, I think he mentioned something about creating an an, an um, online thing. Whether I can't remember if, if it was a subgroup of a chapter or how that thing worked. But, uh, but just having a cloud native Nordics online and a virtual. Uh, chapter or something like that would be awesome. Yeah. Uh, so I, I, what I do remember was that it was currently not supported in how Bevy, Bevy was structured, that if you had a subgroup, uh, you could have a chapter or whatever it was called, like Brazil have, uh, has one, and then all the Brazil meetups are gathered underneath that. But that also means that it does not show up in the list. So that means that our meetups would not show up under like mine would not show up on the Sweden, yours wouldn't show up on Denmark, but it yeah. would instead only be under the subgroup level. And that uh, subgroup had to belong to a specific country and could not be like Europe or Nordics. Mm. Uh, so that was the problem that I do remember with it. Uh, but I, I did write an issue and I will like ping that issue again and see like, have we heard anything back? What's the progress and poke a bit about it. Yeah, because yeah, just, just, Having sort of now that with Corona and everything, uh, sort of all these countries and continents and stuff like that, we sort of missing the virtual <laughs> part of that as well, because we are in this process, we, uh, this community makes more sense because we can create created content because we don't have as a, as a local organizer need to, uh, to do this, that, that would be horrible. So it would be nice to have that in some way. Uh, I'm not sure how they, if they thought about this, but we could, uh, yeah, put that in the in the issue as well. And I can tell yeah. you all about it. Is it because we are sort of special uh, for the use case or what? 
Yeah, yeah, I think I think the platform is built for local meetups and local communities. Um, but now with the pandemic, we are becoming more global um, and or in or more more than just local uh, as we are here in the Nordics. So just having yeah. that entity uh, in the platform somehow would be really awesome. Yeah, yeah, I can remember we talked with Eho about it. I'm just. Uh, confused as to why you can't, but uh, maybe we are special. We have a special use case here. I just thought that there were other meetups that sort of group together. Uh, yes, uh, there are, but they are usually on a country level, not on, uh, not on uh, what's it called, um, like uh, outside the country where. So it's not. It's never like uh, North America or South America. It's always within a specific country. And as if you go to community.cncf.io, you will see that all the groups are listed like under a nation uh, mm -hmm. rather than under like a specific area. And you can't yeah. really define that area yourself. And since we want to have an area that is um, like different, we are different. <laughs> Yeah, Wait, let's uh, let's check up with Eho and and follow up on the uh, on the issue um, and see uh, see how it goes. But yeah, but back back to the the real thing that we were talking about before. Let's just create it, uh, the event, the hack night, using Slack and and see and just post it in the uh, in the Slack channel and see how many will join us. Yeah, I have added it to the calendar on uh, Tuesday, the twentieth of October, um, between eight o'clock and uh, and. Uh, 11 o'clock I meant it to be 10 o'clock um, and uh, I schedule also a meeting a zoom meeting uh, with the zoom client that I'm signed into uh, and added the link to that uh, so I guess I will just uh, write together a summary and post it in uh, in events uh, and organizers channel in slack as well yes that'd be awesome cool and then we will have to, I guess, bump it the day before or something if we want to make sure people remember to join. Yeah. Awesome. Do we have more Wait. To, to talk about? <laughs> yeah. The last thing I've written in the bottom is that I think we need to sort of clean up our GitHub as well. <laughs> you think? <laughs> yeah. Three different uh, web page things and I think it's good to save things but then we should archive them if yeah. we just want to sort of save them. Yeah. I, like, yeah, I can archive a couple of them. Uh, that's no longer relevant right now. I'll just do that immediately. Wait, or else we can do it at the uh, meetup hackathon thing we do. Yeah. Clean up as well. I just archived one already. Yay. <laughs> Effective. Um, cool. Yeah, and if if we have time, just uh, yeah, we, I, I I'll have I'll have pre have a brief look at the at what we have right now, and, and just maybe if I get time, I may have some time next week, but uh, we'll see. But it would be nice to just uh, yeah do it together and uh, find a a way to host it and and all that. Cool. cool. I will uh, try and look into it as well. If I can good. But I will try. I will. I, I will always ask. Can we make it simpler? Uh, That's the good when you, Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, so bring that <laughs> when you feel right it. Uh, cool. I'm going to stop the recording. Uh, I'm feel slightly sorry for everyone watching this recording afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good discussion today. Uh, so thank you all. <laughs>